students hope you are all fit and fine at home myself venkat your chemistry teacher is in front of you to discuss acids bases and salts in your previous classes you might have learned about few physical properties of acids and bases like acids are sour in taste and they turn blue litmus red bases are bitter in taste and they turn red litmus blue isn't it now in this session we are ready to explore the chemical properties of acids and bases are you ready let's begin before we could start let me remind you to take your notebook and pen jot out all the equations in your notebook pause and watch the video if needed write your doubts and post them at the end of the session wait for the surprise video at the end by the end of this session you will be able to learn about few chemical properties of acids and bases let's begin the topic chemical properties of acids and bases the first and foremost property is identification of an acid and a base some substances exhibit different colors in different media such substances are called indicators they help us in identifying acids and bases there are natural as well as artificial indicators the best example for the natural indicator is turmeric we also have red cabbage juice beetroot juice etc all these serve as natural indicators coming to the artificial indicators we have methyl orange phenolphthalein litmus papers we also know litmus papers are of two types red litmus paper and a blue litmus paper some indicators exhibit different order in different media such indicators are called olfactory indicators the best example known to us is an onion s an onion which has a characteristic pungent smell changes or loses its order in an acidic medium we also have vanilla essence as an olfactory indicator the next property reaction of acids and bases with metals what happens when an acid or a base reacts with a metal acids and bases react with metals to liberate hydrogen gas let us see it with an activity for this we need zinc granules hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and a matchbox let us drop few zinc granules into the acids these zinc granules react with the acids and liberate a gas let us test this gas by a matchstick you can see or observe that the matchstick burns with a pop sound let us try it again the matchstick when it is brought near to the beaker burns with a pop sound the gas which burns with a pop sound is nothing but hydrogen gas hence we conclude an acid when it is reacted with a metal gives salt and hydrogen gas hcl when reacted with zinc gives zinc chloride and hydrogen gas sulfuric acid when reacted with zinc gives zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas the next property is reaction with metal carbonates and bicarbonates when an acid reacts with metal carbonates and bicarbonates it liberates carbon dioxide gas a metal carbonate is a metal combined with carbon and oxygen let us perform an activity for this we need take some calcium carbonate 
which is a metal carbonate into the beaker and add few drops of an acid. You can see the gas evolved out in the form of an effervescence. Light a matchstick and bring it to the beaker. It puts off. The gas which puts off a burning splitter is nothing but carbon dioxide gas. Hence, we may conclude that when an acid reacts with a metal carbonate, it gives salt, carbon dioxide and water. HCl when reacted with sodium carbonate Na2CO3 gives sodium chloride which is a salt along with carbon dioxide and water. In the previous activity, we have taken hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate which reacts to form calcium chloride and liberation of carbon dioxide gas along with water happen. An acid also reacts with a metal bicarbonate to form salt, carbon dioxide and water. HCl which is an acid when reacted with sodium bicarbonate NaHCO3 gives NaCl which is a salt along with carbon dioxide and water. The next reaction is reaction of an acid with a base. Have you ever wondered what happens when an acid reacts with a base? Yes, here it is. An acid reacts with a base to form salt and water. This reaction is so special and called as neutralization reaction. Why do we call it as a neutralization reaction? Because an acid when it is reacted with a base will be neutralized to form a neutral substance. Acid plus base gives salt plus water. HCl which is an acid when reacted with NaOH sodium hydroxide which is a base forms NaCl salt and H2O which is water. Let us try an experiment to see what happens when an acid reacts with a base. For this we need an acid, a base and few litmus papers, dropper and stirrers. Put a drop of a base solution on red litmus paper which turns blue confirming that the solution is basic. Now put few drops of HCl into the base and stir it well. After every drop, check whether the base continues to turn red litmus blue. Again add few more drops of HCl and check it once again with red litmus paper. It is still turning red litmus blue indicating that it is still basic in nature. Let's try with few more drops. Stir it well and again test it with a red litmus paper. It is still continuing to turn red litmus blue indicating that it is still basic in nature. Few more drops of acid is added again and let us try. Now we can see that the base is no longer changing red litmus blue which means the base is converted into a neutral substance by the addition of an acid. The next property is reaction of metallic oxide with an acid. Metallic oxide is basic in nature hence when an acid reacts with a metallic oxide it forms salt and water. Acid plus metallic oxide gives salt plus water. HCl which is an acid when reacted with sodium oxide Na2O gives sodium chloride which is a salt and water. Reaction of a base with a non-metallic oxide. Non-metallic oxide is acidic in nature hence 
we can say that when a base reacts with a non-metallic oxide it forms salt and water base plus non-metallic oxide gives salt plus water base NaOH which is a base reacts with CO2 which is a non-metallic oxide gives sodium carbonate which is a form of salt and water now are you ready for the surprise video yes we have discussed about litmus papers blue litmus paper and red litmus paper do you want to prepare your own litmus papers at your home if you are so interested let us see how to prepare a blue and a red litmus paper at your home hope you all will see the video and try to prepare your own litmus papers here we go In this session, we learn the chemical properties of acids and bases, reactions of acids with metals, bases, metal carbonates, metal bicarbonates, and reaction of base with acids and non-metallic oxides. In the next session, we will be discussing an important topic, pH and its importance in our life. Hope you all enjoyed the session. Now, let me see how many of you will make your own litmus papers at home.